Hi, this is the Rusted Willow, and my name is Tammy, and today is Hello Summer, and our special guest is Lisa from Our Gray House. She is a very good friend of mine, and I am so excited that she is our special guest this month. I also host this with Ellie from DIY From House to Home, so let's get started on our first flip. Now, I found these pictures, oh gosh, a long time ago. Um, I think it was after Christmas. I don't know. My sister and I were out thrifting and I found these. So I am just getting these all cleaned up. Um, they had different hangers on the back of them and they, the paper was falling apart. Now I could tell that somebody had probably had these professionally oh, matted or put together like a thousand years ago. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But you could tell by the paper because this one was really tore up. Um, but these are special prints. I need to Google Lens them and see uh, what if they're worth anything. But I haven't done that yet. So I think this one is, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, they do have a number and they are a series. And um, I'm just taking them apart. So I really just wanted these pictures for the frames. So you could tell this one was definitely professionally framed back way, way back when. <laughs> so I do keep all the hardware because I reuse it. So the other paper fell apart. This paper was a little bit more intact, but man, it was... You could tell it had been aged. So then I take my razor blade to kind of clean up the edges just to kind of get the glue residue, the rest of the loose paper. And I do the same thing with the other frame as well. Now I'm taking my fusion. Mm hmm. What color is that? Cashmere. It's my fusion cashmere. It's like a a beigey white color. It's a very creamy, warm white color. And I'm using my fusion paint because it is an all-in-one paint. It has a, a sealer and a primer all in one and you don't have to seal it. So, um, and it goes on really well. So I do give the frames two good coats and then the cardboard backing that came with these frames I go ahead and paint in the same cashmere color and then I am giving them a good coat of Mod Podge. And then I'm taking these pictures that I got from Timu. That one is my favorite. I'm taking these pictures and I am just putting them on the backing and then I use my little Cricut scraper tool to get out all of the bubbles and make sure that they are adhered down really well. Now I only had two frames but the pictures came with three pieces of cardboard so I thought oh, I'll just do all three. I love the cattails. I love, I just love these pictures. Okay, so to blend the pictures in with the painted boards, I use my Fusion Antiquing Glaze. I almost called it wax, but it's not. It's Fusion Antiquing Glaze. So it's, it's thinner than wax. And, um, You'll see that I, I messed this picture up a little bit, but it turns out to be a happy accident because I love, absolutely love the way it turns out. It is gorgeous. It is, it turns out to be my favorite, my favorite picture ever. Now I am making art to put in my booth. Um, I bought these a while ago. I've only used one or two out of this pack and I think 10 or 12 pictures came in this pack and they're kind of an odd size, 
They're not really an eight by 10. Oh, I missed it. So do you see where I stuck my finger on there? Did you see that? So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I take a water bottle and I spritz it because these are canvas pictures and I try to clean it up and it didn't clean up. So I decide, okay, well then I guess I'm just gonna antique glaze over the whole thing. And I didn't really like how that looked. So then I took my hair dryer. No, this is not a hair dryer. This is a heat gun. I take my heat gun and I dry it. And then I take my paintbrush that has um, cashmere on it and I dry brush over it. And then I take the Mod Podge and I mix with the paint a little bit and it makes it look like a canvas picture like it makes it look like a real live painting and it looks it turns out gorgeous and I love the splotches of paint because then it doesn't look like just a piece of canvas so I don't know you're gonna have to let me know what you think but I love how these turned out mm. now I didn't put paint on every single one of these because they turned out fine but the cattails, oh my gosh, my absolute favorite. I just wanted to make sure that I put a good coat of Mod Podge on all of them um, in case they did want to take them out of the frames because I left the glass in there. And then if they wanted to remove the glass and make it look like a canvas painting, they could do that as well. Now, guys, if you hear my dogs in the background, they're playing and I apologize, but that is not my stomach growling. That is that is the dogs. I was struggling with this tape for some reason. But I just tape the backing on nice and neat. And then I'm just like testing it just to make sure making sure that the picture is clean, the glass is clean. And then I decide, okay, I'm going to add some more tape because I want to make sure that it's completely stable. And I do hot glue the edges on this one. And then I do the same thing with this one. Here, I decide to go around the whole thing in hot glue, which I don't think is necessary, but the way I finish the back, like they're gonna have to tear into it to get the picture out. So I use this packing tape and I go all the way around. I got this packing tape but I'm gonna have to get some more but it is you could use duct tape you don't have to use packing tape you could even use painters tape if you wanted to I just wanted to make sure that this was nice and stable I love how this picture turned out now guys I invested in this construction brown paper roll and it is heavy duty talk about nice okay so then I'm taking this a spray adhesive and I spray it all over this brown paper and I let it sit for just a few minutes just to set up because the, the little longer you let it sit uh, the stickier it gets so I let it set up just a little bit and you don't want to touch the brown paper before you touch anything else you just spray it and take it outside and spray it because I literally covered my whole desk made sure I had a big piece of paper and I still got it all over my desk and then I take my uh, X-Acto knife and I cut around the edges. I try to get as close to the edges as I can because you don't want to cut into your frame. And this brown paper is so sticky, it just I just stick it to itself. So that way 
I don't get it on anything. And I felt my table and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got it all over. And I really did. I got it all over my table. <laughs> Can you tell I cleaned my desk? So guys, I've moved my room around. I've cleaned my desk. I have done a lot of organizing. I got more to do. So anyway, more to come on that later on. So then I take my finger sander and I just sand down to get the edges nice and um, cleaned up. And then I take the hanger that was left on the one and I put it back on and I just eyeball it. And there they are. Let me know what you think. Oh my gosh. Do you not love the cattails? That is my favorite. I love, love, love how they turned out. Gorgeous. All right, guys, don't forget today is the Hello Summer open collaboration that Ellie and I host every other month. Well, do we host every other month? Uh, anyway, today is Hello Summer and our special guest is Lisa from Our Gray House. And do not forget to go over and check out the playlist and see what all the other creators have brought you this month. And if you are new here, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you will please subscribe and hit that like button. And if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You know I appreciate you. And make sure to go and check and see if you are still subscribed because YouTube has been unsubscribing subscribers lately. So um, just double check that for me. All right, guys, let's get back into this video on to the second DIY. And this is going to be my final one because these took quite a while to do. Um, and I've just been really busy around here. All right, so I found this uh, birdhouse. It was $9.99 at Goodwill. Um, I think I found this on one of our trips to Kansas City, I think. Um, anyway, I'm using this fusion, beautiful fusion color. I love it. I think it's called Latrine. And it just, oh, I love it. It reminds me of Jadeite dishes and and it's kind of vintagey in color. I just I just love it. I started out with a different color on this birdhouse and I'm like, nope, we're gonna do this uh latrine. I love it. Love the color. All right, so I love the rusty roof and I am just gonna give this birdhouse a little update. You'll have to tell me if I do it justice or not. So I give it an all over one coat of this latrine because, you know, fusion, it covers really, really well. And you see, I'm trying to put it in this squirt bottle because I, oh my gosh, I had a heck of a time just trying to get the bottle back open. So then I am just going over all the sides. Do you guys like this fusion color? You're going to have to let me know in the comments down below. This is also one of my new paintbrushes I got from Hobby Lobby. 90% off, which I absolutely love. All right, now I'm going to get out some other colors here. And I decide I'm going to take that latrine. I'm going to go over the rusty roof of this birdhouse. Because I want to just add some more color to it. So I'm just dry brushing it on there. And this is Rust-Oleum's, just a white Rust-Oleum color. I can't remember what it's called. And I am just dry brushing over the roof with the white color because I just wanted to add different colors just to bring out the roof texture and the design. I love this old ceiling tile. And then I take black, Fusion uh, Coal Black, and I am going around the base of this birdhouse. It's just a cedar fence uh, piece is what it's made out of. 
and I paint the base black. And then I just took my Mod Podge and I poured it over the roof because I want to keep the color because this is going to go outside for me. And I thought, you know what? I love the rust, but I also love the dry brush on it. So I wanted to keep the color. And so I just put some Mod Podge on it. Now it's not the weather proof. It's not the dishwater proof. It's just regular, um, matte Mod Podge. So once the Mod Podge wears off, then the roof will start to patina again. All right, so now I'm getting out my Dixie Bell transfers that I used in my last video, and I am going to put some beautiful flowers on this birdhouse. Now, let me know, what do you think about the yellow popping off of this minty green color oh my goodness guys is that not gorgeous i absolutely love it i could not get enough of these yellow flowers on this latrine color I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So once I use my little stick and I rub the transfer down, I just burnish it down with the um, carrier sheet. Now I will give you a little tip here. Put on all your big stuff first and then put your little fillers on. I don't know why I decided I had to put on a little B there because it... Um, it kind of got in the way of my design once I started putting more flowers on. And these are super simple. You just rub them, pull it up, and you can layer these. I was trying to get this leaf on there and I thought, oh, I want it this way. And then I'm like, nope, it'll cover up the bee. So I had to turn it the other way. So then I just kept cutting it down till I thought, okay, that, that'll work. and it went on super simple. I did not seal this paint because it has an, a sealer already in it. Now I put the purple flowers on the front with this beautiful yellow butterfly. Oh my gosh, I love how this birdhouse turned out. So beautiful. But like I said, I wished I would have put on all my flowers first and then filled in with the butterflies and the bees because I ended up with a butterfly up there. I ended up with the flowers around the little hole in the, in the birdhouse, the little doorway, and then I had a bee down below. And then I cut off the stem of one of the other flowers to put on the purple flowers just to carry it around the birdhouse and then I'm just cleaning up the little nail and this is like a very old vintage nail uh, that they used as the perch. I'm just cleaning the paint off of that and then I take my little finger sander and I go around the edges and I go over the transfers as well just to kind of scuff them up and burnish them down into the wood. And this birdhouse turns out gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Now it's time for the final reveal. So let me know which project was your favorite. I absolutely love the cattails. I love how the painting turned out. A happy accident made it even more beautiful. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Please do not forget to go and visit the playlist and see what all the creators have brought you this time. And I want to thank Lisa so much for being our guest host. 
She is a dear friend of mine, and I love that she's our host this month. And also, don't forget to go over and visit Ellie's channel. She does some very simple Dollar Tree flips and uh, projects for you, and she's very creative. All right, guys, let me know which one is your favorite. And I hope you will hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so that YouTube will push my video out to other people. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.